everyone, this is Carolina and today I'm going to be showing you how to use twine in a creative way to put some treat holders. We'll start off with this basket and the first thing you want to do is um, blow up a water balloon and we're going to add glue all the way around. I'm using Martha Stewart's glitter glue. I like the brush that comes with it and um, pretty much any glue would work. Anything that's liquid that's meant to be used on paper. Uh, the reason for it, or fabric actually might work too, though I haven't tried that, but this one works really well. Make sure it's liquid and make sure it's for paper crafts. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just add quite an amount of glue to the balloon. The reason for this is, as I've learned through trial and error, um, it's the more glue you add, the better and actually the stronger your basket's going to turn out. I went, oh, let me zoom out a little bit here so you can kind of see what I'm doing better. Um, I went through about three or four different balloons and found out that the longer I let it sit, the stronger it got and also the more amount of, the more amount of glue I added to it, the stronger it became. So. As you can see, I'm adding quite a amount. What you wanna make sure here is that you don't leave lumps anywhere, so try to smooth it out as much as possible. And because we are working with twine, it's quite forgiving and we can do that, but the more you do it um, at this stage in the process, the better. So go ahead and grab some twine, whatever color you'd like, and you're gonna go ahead and get the edge of it, which will be the beginning, quite um, wet with glue. You can either dip it in glue, or you can just do as I'm doing here, just making sure that you cover quite amount of it in this way what it does it allows you to kind of just um, bend it as easy as I'm doing it here and then what you want to do here is just bring in that tip as close to it as possible so you don't leave, uh, leave a hole because you don't want things slipping through kind of like basket weaving I guess is the best way to put it to so the beginning it's crucial for everything and then just kind of because it's wet you're able to manipulate it quite well and as you see me do here, I'm just going around and around. This part takes the longest because you're kind of fixing it, tapping it down. And the one thing I have to tell you is um, be patient with it at first. But once you get going, it does go quite quickly. So again, excess glue, like I said, but you want, you'd rather have that than not enough. And the other thing I would say is to have some kind of holder. I found this egg cartons that I'm actually using them to put the treat holders on there as well. Perfect. So when you need to wipe your hands, as I'm doing here with um, white piece, just have some handy or a wet towel so that you can continue on the process and see because it's wet, I'm able to manipulate and bring it back to the center. And then what I'm going to do is just keep going around. It does take a little bit, like I said at the beginning, but once you have it, then it's easy just to kind of go around and around. And let me go ahead and grab another one that I, when I started earlier today. As you can see, the glue already dry, so let me grab some more glue and add a little bit more so that we can finish this one. Again, I'm being generous, going all the way around because I'm not sure where my string is gonna, or where my twine's gonna end, so I'd rather have more than not enough. Okay, oops, missed the bottom here. Let me grab a little bit more of glue and we'll add it to that bottom section. There we go. Okay, so similar to how we started earlier, you can just kind of keep going around and around, holding it up like this and turning it is one way. To me, this seemed a little longer and a little more tedious. The other way is just on its side and then just kind of bring the twine all the way around and you're basically turning the balloon instead of the twine, if that makes any sense. And you can just kind of adjust it as you go. And we're almost done. Another way is just to turn the actual twine as you turn the balloon. And here's the end of it. Okay, and with that, we are done. Now we just set it to dry. You can either leave it overnight, as I'm doing here, or you could um, give it just enough time for it to dry, like from this morning, this was from this morning, and now I'm able to cut it. Either way, this is the process you'll do to get the balloon out. You'll just cut a little bit at the top and it'll kind of collapse on its own like this. I found out that when I left it overnight, it actually deflated itself. So I didn't even have to do any of this. So 
This was from this morning and I'm just going around and cutting it. You just want to make sure you're not cutting into the twine itself because then you'll have a hole and then your basket won't be, it'll be worthless basically. What you will be left with is, um, once you, once you fix it, you will be left with this little pieces of glue on top. Let me see if I can zoom in here and show you those pieces. And then you just want to go ahead and cut them with scissors. Again, making sure as you're going around that you're not catching any of the twine and you don't want to cut too into it either because the glue is what's holding the twine together in the shape so you just want to make sure you cut just right where you will be seeing it leaving the inside um, covered with glue obviously so that'll hold its shape okay, a little bit more here I think I see a couple more places and then we'll be done Okay, so I think that's it. It's pretty good. You could always kind of, you know, trim it more as you need to, but I think that's pretty good. And here's your little basket ready to be filled with stuff. Let me grab one that's already done. So this is what it looks like from the top. This is side view. I'm just having a little cupcake holder. It's kind of fun. You can put other treats in there. I went ahead and did chocolate eggs. And um, like I said, I was able to make a bunch of them. I have about 10 made in quite a short amount of time. The other option that I want to show you is to use plastic eggs. The ones that you buy in the store, sand it down really, really well. And I found some that were hinged. Isn't that cool? So that you actually, they don't come apart altogether. They're just hinged, sanded it, did the exact same process I did to that one and let it dry. And then this is the result. I'm using four different colors, put them all in a little egg holder. And here's the side view, added a little bit of butterflies, some um, paper to it, and then inside are some little eggs. And so hope you have fun making these and using your twine in a different and creative way. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for stopping by.